I originally had this as a Facebook status, but having just watched your video here, Graphic Ignorance, I think that this would be a good amendment of my own to your video. It follows up on all your points quite nicely, and it adds a personal taste to it of someone who, had I lived in North Carolina, would have been very greatly adversely affected by this amendment. Hey, passed. I apologize for my eyes probably not being directly in, on my camera. I am reading this from a script since I originally had it as a Facebook status and I reply to a comment on said Facebook status. So I've simply copy-pasted it all into words so I can more conveniently and easily tell it to you. So without further ado, here we go. I tagged all my Facebook friends at the end of this post for a simple reason. I wanted them all to hear this. And now... I stopped watching the news because of things like this, so I was a bit behind on the issue and I learned about it after an online friend of mine emailed me saying, you got to see what North Carolina just did. If you don't know, go ahead and take about two minutes of your life, go to Google News and look at what amendment was just made into North Carolina's constitution if you don't already know. I am ashamed to be a member of a species that so easily turns on one another. I am ashamed to be a part of a country that allows people to be treated as different for simple reasons that only affect their own families. I am ashamed to share the label of American with all the people who voted out on that amendment into law. Lastly, I am ashamed to be a member of a society that thinks it's okay for any religion at all to say what public laws, policies, and existence should be like when it was founded on the idea that, and principle that religion should be free to exist, that one man should be allowed to have a different religion from another. I'm gay. I don't care if my family thinks of that in the slightest. It doesn't affect them in any real tangible way. I look on this and I see a simple truth emerge from the cesspool of hatred. I am a second-class citizen. I am not given the same rights as others simply because of an arbitrary decision made by people who make up most of society. Choice, or born that way, that doesn't matter for what I have to say next. America was founded on the very simple, yet very desirable and good ideal that I will quote here from right from the preamble of the Declaration of Independence, the words that led our founding fathers not only to fight against impossible odds, but also to pin the rules this land was to live by after they proved victorious over oppression. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal and that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their powers from the consent of the governed. This country was founded on the idea that all people are equal. All people deserve the same rights as others. Sure, the founding fathers had slaves, but in the end, we abolished slavery. And it took a shameful amount of time. We accepted you know, the people who were enslaved simply by the color of skin, at last, as equals. Because that's what America is about. Equality of all people. But unlike slaves, we homosexuals started out as free people. We didn't have a right, others did, simply because tradition said male and female didn't recognize other forms of love. A mistake. We asked for it. We demanded it. We dug our heels in the sand and fought for it. And in some places, American values won through after a shameful amount of time, but won nonetheless. But now, those values have been tossed aside. Flushed down the toilet of bigotry, hatred, and intolerance. As in one state, those rights have not only been suppressed, but made nearly and irreparably, nearly irreparably and wrongly denied. Odds are they will never be given there now. And this will set a precedent for more and more states to revoke or ban a simple right to a group who deserves it, because in America, all people are equal. Congratulations, North Carolina. Just had a glimmer of hope that perhaps after many, many years, America could truly be a place where there's equality for all, and people respected others, even if they didn't approve of them or their lifestyles, you took your pants completely off and defecated on my hopes. I don't know whether to weep for the death of American values or take up my sword to avenge them. If my words have not shown you what foul, vile, despicable,
despicable thing has been done this week, my friends. Let this picture of two people in love as the amendment was signed into law say it all. On this status on my Facebook wall, someone posted a simple comment in this, some Christian friend of mine that simply said, but we have to do things like this because it is our Christian duty to confront sin where we see it and to make sure that everyone lives in a, uh, in a good way in the eyes of God so that they may get into heaven. And this is what I replied to him. Even though you're probably a nice guy in person, you give your religion a bad name, because people like you think you should spread it by force. So that is not only wrong, it is evil. What you do is you should live by your values, tenets, and ideals. And when someone asks you why you do what you do, you tell them about Jesus, God, or Buddha, or the goddess in the fest. As an aside, that's the only deity I'd ever worship if they were real. Best method of worship ever. Look her up. You are not allowed to control the government the idea that religion shouldn't be mandated by the government or endorsed by the public. It is meant to be a private affair. The United States says in its governing laws that it will be secular so that you have the freedom to be Christian, your neighbor down the street, Jim, has the freedom to be Muslim, Kenny across the road from you has the freedom to be a Shaolin, and I, over here in my hole in the ground in West Virginia, have the freedom to be an atheist. Because of this, it's technically illegal for you or anyone else to lobby to create or change public laws to suit your religion. Public laws apply to everyone, unlike the rules of your religion, which only apply to you and other people in your religion. Because of this, not only is it okay to be gay, but one day when I have a boyfriend and I love him with all my heart and he loves me back, we should be allowed to be married, not by a priest in one of your houses of worship, but by the government, who is secular and isn't allowed to be biased by religion. If you really believe that marriage would be sullied by allowing this, then you're a fool. Look at marriage today anyways. It's so perfect, so pristine. No, half of all marriage is in a divorce. Most people aren't even getting married anyways. But the facts are facts. If two people love each other, regardless of sex, they should be allowed to be seen as family in the eyes of the government. No god, goddess, spirit, or person should be allowed to get in their way or tell them they are wrong, because it's not your place, and neither is it the place of any deity they don't follow or worship. I can hope one day that not only you, but everyone learns this lesson, so that rather than fighting amongst ourselves, we can do unite to do great things and respect one another, even if we don't approve of each other's lives. But that's not the end of this story. That's not all I had to say on this subject. I thought it would be. I thought that would be, you know, plenty. Plenty of stuff I could say. Just, yeah, we're good now, right? I put all my thoughts and focuses on there in a reasonable, logical argument. I figured they'd at least not reply if nothing else, right? Or, well, I am now going to tell you something my own father did. I don't live with him anymore. I'm pretty sure you just said this to my face. About 40 minutes later, I log on to Facebook, and my dad has posted to me in private messages about a page and a half in Word. And what's this page and a half in Word say? Well, first of all, he proceeded to call me an abomination, a genetic mistake. He proceeded to say I claim I had some kind of mental illness. He proceeded to insult myself and any future boyfriends I may have or have. And he went so far as to say, quote, your kind of love is a, a self-serving abomination that pales before true love, which can only be had between a male and a female, end quote. My father said that. A dad who raised me and loved me, only to instantly hate me when it turned out that I wasn't straight and I felt I wouldn't be killed if I told people that I wasn't. That sunk in. That sunk in? You got that? You see maybe a fraction of the shit I get because of something I cannot help or control. And no, it's not like alcoholism. No 12-step program or brainwashing 
can repair simple biological instinct. You got that? Right? Well, I hope you enjoy your little step into my shoes. And I hope maybe your sense of American values has been restored, repaired, or even constructed for the first time. And I hope that just maybe, just maybe, someone will point out that, hey, that amendment's unconstitutional, and have it ripped from that state's constitution, along with every other state's constitution that has prohibited it. And I also hope that the, someone at the federal level will force legislation through that requires all states to allow all same-sex marriage, because they're secular, and they're not allowed to be biased by religion, even the religion that the senators, the congressman, and the president himself has, is not allowed to make its way into public policy. Enjoy the rest of your lives.